Hey Kristen, um, we're going to go over the four things that uh, I told you I wanted to build to tape you on. Those are the like the foundation things. Um, first for safety and then to make sure you're getting the most out of your workouts. So we're going to start with squats. Um, first thing, keep your head up. When you keep your head up, it almost makes you go in the right position. It makes you bend at the knees. When you look down, it makes you bend at the waist, so head up. That's for starters. After that, really stick that butt out there, all right? So every time you do a squat, like you're gonna sit back in a chair. Really, I mean, it's just as far back as you can stick your butt, stick it out there, all right? So really stick that butt back there. And it's the same whether you're jumping like a power squat or not. So get, really stick that butt out there. All right? So just get that butt out there as far as you can. Knee behind the ankle or behind the toe. And so that's that one. All right, uh, jumping. Whenever you land from a jump, you always want to land toe ball heel. The easiest way to make sure that you land properly each and every jump is to, when you land, to land with your knee bending or doing a squat, okay? So, when you jump, you're always jumping from the lower position. So when you land, you want to be landing back into that lower position. When you land back into that lower position, it, so you're bending your leg as you're landing, it makes you land toe ball heel. So you have proper, proper form. If you just keep jumping from up, from up on top, you're going to be keeping all the weight on the ball and the toes of your feet and you're going to get uh, problems with your feet. So each time, you know, don't do this. Each time come from down low. Alright, so there's jumping. Uh, now we have punches. When you throw a punch each and every time, I want your hands touching your, so your thumbs are up on your cheeks. Alright? And I, when you throw the punch, when you bring it back, I want you to bring it back so your hand is touching your face again. Okay? Now the other thing that's gonna help, all this is gonna help you make sure you're getting the most out of it, I want you to turn your hand so your elbow goes up on every punch. Elbow up and back. Elbow up and back. Same with uppercut. I want you to bring your hand back here. All right. It's this bringing the back motion. That's what's gonna get you the work you need, okay? Because otherwise, if you start getting lazy, the hands get lower, and it's not getting lazy, really. It's just getting tired if you don't concentrate you won't get as good a workout on it. So, all right, the other one is uh, power knees. So on power knees, you got your hands out here and you're lifting your knee up. All right, now on every one of them, you know, I want you to really over-exaggerate your hands up here. And I want your, your, your leg and your knee, all that's gonna naturally work itself. I want you to concentrate and bring your hands all the way up here. It's this stretching motion at the end that goes way out here that's going to work your lats. And you'll, you'll feel it. So it's always this part here. It's this last little bit that's going to work your back. And then you'll feel that. Alright? I will see you later, Kristen. Bye-bye.